Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Since the Australian dollar posted a classic long-legged doji last Thursday, the market has been a little bit indecisive. Still maintaining a cap around 79.95 to 80.20, now sees a minor resistance coming in now at 79.60. It is viewed that the pressure on the Australian dollar will continue to the downside. After last week, the comments from the Governor RBA, Guy de Bell, did briefly weaken the Australian dollar to print a low of 78.75 as the RBA jumped in and um, dampened any hawkish outlooks from its minutes from last week. This week, then the RBA will be keeping a close watch on the CPI that is out on tomorrow. The forecast is at 4.4%. Previous was 0.5. So looking ahead, as I expect, weakness to return could see a, a decline to 78.85. Now towards the support of 78.50, could on the short term see bids start firming up and could see a rebound from that level. Well, the dollar index did briefly print a low of uh, a 13 month low of 93.65 before staging a firm recovery back to 94. Now, with the euro briefly uh, posting a, a high last recorded back in August 2015 of 116.84 overnight, the market is showing some weakness. If we get a move through 116.15 today, that would give further scope to the downside at 115.30, with the uptrend now coming in at 114.70. The dollar yen overnight posts a classic long-legged doji on the bull side. Now, as you can see here, that the market is actually maybe starting to now starting to form a base from 110.50. If the doji is a show of uh, Indecision from the from the bears, then a break above 111.65 today would give further scope to the upside to 112.40.50 and reassess from there. However, on the, the other hand, if we do break underneath 110.50, little support comes in until 109.30.50. Well, the pound is attempting to recover uh, after it put some modest gains in overnight. The um, but, however, I still expect the market to remain nervous due to the uh, Brexit jitters with the, uh, the fragile government that Theresa May holds, must negotiate with the European unions, which is expected to show no interest in providing any support to, to, to Britain as the divorce proceedings continue. It is viewed that policymakers at the Bank of England uh, have been at odds over rising interest rates, with the next um, re decision released on August the 4th uh, should expect policy hold makers to hold to the benchmark rate at 0.25. Therefore, we should see resistance hold from 130.65 and the overall view down towards 129.65 to 128.60.70. Now, the gold also posts a doji overnight after rising to its highest level in one month. It did briefly touch a high of last seen in late June of 12.58 right in front of that resistance of 59. Now, I do expect to see um, weakness, maybe for the start of today, due to the doji that's there. Support comes in now at 12.49, and still buying dips, expect to see a base come in around 12.44. Now, a break above 59 will give a stretch up towards 64 to 70, but I do stress a little, the reason why I'm calling them pullback is the indicators are breaking down slightly. So do keep a close watch on that if you are holding long positions. And to wrap up with oil, well, the market is attempting to try and take on the top side uh, with the bulls re attempting to reinstate um, the sentiment. Now it looks towards a target of 46, 40, 45. If we get a break above there, as it currently challenges its level, it would see a move back up towards the 47, 65, which was the failed region. But I expect to see from these technicals that the market will fail from any bull run and expect to see a move eventually back down to 44.60. So that wraps up my daily video. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday reports that will be released shortly.